Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Star Hill Brewery. They're out of Crozet, Virginia. It's right up the road here, about two hours, two hours or so from uh, from Roanoke or Salem here. <clears throat> this is their Boxcar Pumpkin Porter. Uh, not had this on draft. Uh, I have had one bottle of this. I uh, bought a six pack of it, so I have had it. I know what to expect. Uh, I'm hoping the second one's going to grow on me. Uh, the first time I had it, it was okay, but uh, it didn't blow my hair back or anything. So I'm hoping it's, <laughs> hoping it's going to do a little bit better this time. So uh, I gave it a couple of days since I've had the first one. So maybe this one will maybe this will be the charm. This is a uh, pumpkin ale. The ABV is 5.2, from what I've determined. Uh, the boot for this I see pumpkin beer. So uh, of course it's going to go with pumpkin pie. And it's a dessert type beer. <clears throat> the beer is not recommended for standard salaring with a 5.2, but you can keep. I think it has the date on the bottle, which is a plus. Uh, I, like I said, I, I actually, uh, I actually poured for them not this past top of the house, but the the first annual of the year last year's, and uh, got to meet Mark Thompson and a uh, pretty nice guy. Uh, this has a Best Buy. For brewery fresh taste, purchased before month notched, and it's got January 2012. So, and these are twist offs, but sometimes they're only pretty tight. So, uh, I'm not going to try to bear arm this and get it off. I just got a cap. I just popped the cap right here. And like I said, it's not recommended for extended uh, cellarings, and this is a fall beer. They do it once a year, I think. So, get it in a glass and see what it looks like. This is a pumpkin porter. I've not had until this a pumpkin porter. Usually you see there's some type of pumpkin harvest or harvest ale or, or a pumpkin ale. But usually not a pumpkin stout or a pumpkin porter. So the, the first I guess for me on this. This uh, that pours a fairly thin head. I didn't pour it super aggressive. Uh, and it has some ruby red tendons around the outside of the glass. Just barely see some light. Nothing through the center of the glass. So it's a pretty thick, but it's not it's not all in black. Very dark in the glass, so very, very dark in the glass. Could have noticed on this one. Basically what I'm getting is roasted malts, off spice, cinnamon, nutmeg, maybe a little clove, your typical pumpkin spices and pumpkin beer spices and on top of that or, or, or along with that instead of having a uh, an, an ale type nose this has a roasty malt to go with uh, to with that so uh, that's why it's so dark uh, they probably use either some uh, chocolate malt or black patent malt or, or something that's been roasted uh, to get that, get that dark flavor there so uh, dark color so Guys, uh, let's get a nose on it. Yeah, we done done the nose. Let's get the lips on it. To me, I get the roasty malt up there with the cinnamon on the taste. Very pleasant. I mean, if you were blindfolded, I don't know if you could actually tell that, that it was a porter. Just a little bit of the roasty malt comes through there. You might indicate it. But if you didn't know, I mean, you would, you would, and there was like three or four pumpkin beers on the table and they had you blindfolded. I don't know if you could actually taste it unless you were uh, accustomed to tasting different kinds of beers, if you know what I'm saying there. 
<coughs> Very delicious. I mean, this I don't think it's quite an A beer in my opinion, but it's a it's an above average beer. And I might be a little biased since I know the brewer and uh, he's a pretty good fellow and they try to do good stuff. So uh, it's tasty. I mean, it's definitely worth buying. They got and they have this in. I could I didn't buy the, the single bottle, so I did buy a whole six pack of it. So. I'm supporting the local brewery here. One of the local ones within a couple hours. So. Pretty tasty. I mean, uh, it's good. I'm going to let it warm up. You know the deal. It's right out of the fridge. I'll be right back. We'll do the final chug. But it's above average beer, guys. Stick around. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit left here in the glass. I mean, this is, to me, <clears throat> it's got just a little bit of the roasty malt taste in there. I mean, if I was blindfolded, that would be the only dis difference that I would taste from a regular pumpkin beer. So, uh, uh, with that being said, I want to show you guys. What that is, is a roasted pumpkin beer. I mean, that's the bottom line. It, it's a got a roasted malt pumpkin spice beer that uh, is very sessionable, being at 5.2%. So... If you like your pumpkin beers, you like a little roasted malt in your beer, you're probably going to like this one. As usual, it's got a little thin, a little watery taste, but most of the pumpkin beers do. I mean, it's not supposed to be a thick, heavy beer. It's supposed to be a fall, seasonal, refreshing, light, and this one being low ABV, sessionable. So, guys, with that being said, I'm going to, I'm going to give it to six. It's a B beer. It's a solid B. It's an above average beer. Like I said, it might be a little biased since I know the brewer. Very tasty, though. I mean... It's a decent beer. Uh, Rate Beer has this at a 58 overall and a 69 in the style. So, not very high marks there, but Beer Advocate comes up with a B on that, and I agree with that. It's a, it's a B beer. So, guys, uh, if you can get Star Hill beer, beers in your area, pick it up. Give it a try. This won't be around long. I mean, if you like a pumpkin, pumpkin style beer and you like the darker beer, the porters, uh, it's a pretty good combination. You know, like I said, not blowing my hair back or my socks off, but Worth a try, guys. So, give it a try if you see it. It's always right. Com comment, subscribe. <laughs> Can't get my out the word. Right, comment, subscribe, and uh, as always, we're gonna look in the fridge tomorrow. Come on back, see what's in there then. See you then.